He can do some HTML. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we get back. It don't matter to me, man. Yeah, cause I mean, it's nerds. That dude don't know nothing. And actually, when you talk to a lot of these scientists, and actually, actually, when you look into it these days, a lot of the scientists are becoming more spiritual. If you have not noticed, I've noticed. I've heard a lot of scientists that are believe in the most high and they said all oh, their research has led them to believe that there must be the god must exist it's not possible to have this without the most high creating it you know i've heard you heard a lot of that lately i because i listen to a lot of radio shows and these radio shows are always having top scientists and researchers come on that's, that's what i need to get back to the radio yeah, I'm on non-stop radio all day. Yeah, I got away from 16, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? Radio in the fucking months and months. Just not too much Alex Jones, because that is bad for your brain. <laughs> Hearing that fat bastard talk all day. Yeah, he's getting worse and worse. Okay. He go hard sometimes, though. You know? It's just some redhead in one box, man. Oh, shit. Ooh, I like that redhead bitch, that bitch on uh, Alex Jones. What's that bitch's name? Catherine Albright? She's always talking about the mark of the beast. Oh yeah, she's a scientist, a computer programmer. Bitch is intelligent as hell, and she says the Bible is 100% true. You know what I'm saying? She will destroy that motherfucker in the debate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go ahead, what you got? This is Boone Show. I'm back to Sean Swift in the chapter. Yeah, hearing all that atheist talk and all that. Oh, I'm just a biological construct. And I'm just a, we're just here, it's just, these people are stupid, man. Yeah, that's some head, headache. Yeah, it really do give you a headache. Make you want to go drink some whiskey after hearing that shit, man. For real. Their inward thought is their houses, that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their land after their like, own name. Yeah, these fools out here, they have no idea what's going on. They actually think that this shit's going to continue forever. They have no idea that Russia's about to go, go to war with Ukraine. The very, oh, yeah. few, very few people are into the news and staying up on the news. If they do watch the news, they're watching some CNN and Fox News or some other, uh, some laughable shit, you know what I mean? They're, they're not, they're into, they have no information. What well, they call them low information voters. <laughs> These people, yeah, they very low information. What's up, homie? I'm here on my bike. I do. Remember, right. remember. Yeah, you love Jesus. Your homie just left. I do, yeah. My who? Your dude that was with you. I was yeah, with his, your homie was over here. <laughs> what, the guy on his bike too? He's probably, yeah. probably one of your brothers. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What you got there, a science <laughs> project? It's a chair. That's a chair? Uh, you guys know about Shark Tank, the TV show? Yeah. They were just doing a, an open call. Like, oh, straight up. Uh, so I, I designed this chair a few years ago, and I, I'm trying to sell it, so I'm... I it to him. <laughs> Trying to sell a paper chair. It won't last very long. Yeah, it can hold 300 pounds. 300 Not pounds. for... Oh, that's pretty impressive. You gotta sit down just right. Let's so. just test Let's get one of these fat bitches to sit on it. Damn, break it. <laughs> right. Well, I just gotta say hi. <laughs> we bonded that other day. <laughs> 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 crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, one of the fat bitches sitting in that chair is going to break. Trust me. Dude, wait, hey. One of the, <laughs> hey, you ain't try one of these big black bitches. Let them sit on it. That shit be crushed. <laughs> Bitch, a fart on it. Yeah, I got quite a few. He get fart holes in it. <laughs> he tried to sell it. Hey, if it can hold three, that's pretty impressive though. It can hold three hundred pounds. Your boy must be an engineer or something. Oh my goodness. They can hold three hundred pounds. He got a car. He, he had to have tested it too. A waste problem. A cardboard chair that can hold three hundred pounds. A cardboard chair. That's an ingenuity right there. But he tried to sell it to him. Who the fuck gonna buy a cardboard chair though? That's what I'm saying. It'd be, it'd be cheap to make though. Yeah. You know, give him that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make get it some boxes out the dumpster. Yeah, I should have told you, you gotta make it a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, we wanna sit down that low. This motherfucker carrying a cardboard box. This, go, this is no end to this craziness, man. Oh, hold on. I, but, I mean, that's kind of. I seen this. Uh, I seen on. So, yeah. I seen this, uh, some dude, I think it was one of them Jew rats too that made it. They made a bike out of cardboard. Damn. And it said it, only, it weighed like just a few pounds. 
and it was really cheap to make. The whole bike was made out of recycled cardboard. What devils do to sit, to sit down and be doing yeah. shit? Bro. They be coming up with some shit. Just like that faggot, um, David Wanchow. Yeah. Remember the boat he made? I uh, made out of a uh, recycled. He didn't make that boat. Uh, oh, yeah. Probably some Israelite made it for him. Hey, those are intelligent people. Man. They spend their life in education. Yeah, you know what I'm they saying? do. You know, from birth on, man. The, the rich, you can do that with the rich, but we yeah. gotta rely on the, our bitch taking our kids to the fucking school, school system. It know? takes a long time to build that kind of knowledge up. You know, it takes years and years of study. Like, even to be a good computer programmer, you gotta study that shit for years. That takes years of study. You just ain't just gonna wake up one day and start programming shit. Mm -hmm. You gotta, that's a lot of shit you gotta know. You know what I mean? And most of us, you grow up in the hood, man, you ain't getting no education growing up. You going to goddamn public schools and they ain't teaching you shit. You learn the street with Oh, it just came out today in the news that, uh, in the Washington, D.C., they said over 83% of the students of Washington, D.C. couldn't even fucking read. Functioning illiterate. They, they, yeah, they're pretty much illiterate. illiterate. That's 83% of the public, of the public schools. Mm -hmm. Can't That's, fucking read. Yep, yep. Columbus. They ain't actually, far behind. Yep. And they yep. crooked, though. Because yep. they lie about the test scores so they get more money. Cheap, like this yep. bitch. What's that black bitch's that name? Ball head bitch Harris. That's Gene Harris. Gene Harris. That bitch got caught in all kind of scandals. Mm -hmm. Lying about the test scores. Because you know goddamn well them students ain't really passing those tests. They dumb as hell. Now they're facing criminal charges. Yep. Some lost their jobs, principals and shit. Did it's you? a chain reaction. Everybody telling everybody now. We already marked the school system and Gene Harris. They all been marking for several years now. Yep. So now the Lord is putting that judgment on this new ass system. And now I'll go up to the mayor too, uh, mm -hmm. Cause yeah, he's in, yeah, he's mayor, in, he probably Coleman, ordered it. Mayor Coleman, Coleman probably ordered it. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, y'all, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get this money. So he's like, read me that check. We're gonna keep getting that money. Cause Coleman is crooked as they come, Give boy. Me that check under the table. You You're can one look at him, you can tell he crooked it. His wife got caught embezzling money for drugs. Said she was spending <laughs> it on pills or something. Was she? She was a drunk too. Yeah, yeah a drunk, drunk, she a drunk. Mm -hmm. So this whole goddamn country is corrupt, man. He ain't gonna get in that office as mayor of Columbus, Ohio, unless you. He been the goddamn mayor as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. He's a cooperative nigga. Oh yeah, a cooperative nigga. Do and, all the dirt you can to your own. And you seen City Hall, the ancient uh, pagan Ooh. temple? Go look at City Hall, the ancient temple. It looked like an ancient pagan temple. Like some shit in country right there. Right. They got a fucking temple. They got the eight point star. I gotta make a video on it. It is a temple though. Yeah, it's a temple. It is. So uh, the state house is the temple too. What's up, baby? Even uh, this go look at state. The state house look like an ancient Roman temple, just like the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is an ancient Roman temple, just like the Capitol Hill is an ancient Roman temple. Damn, he's so incorrect, dude. Every city got its own temple in each city. There's a state house in each major city, or every cap at least every capital of every state got that state house. And it's a temple. It's an actual fucking temple. The only buildings I ever seen that look like that were ancient Roman temples. They got the giant pillars. You know what I'm saying? They got the giant pillars. The temple, only only temple temples have shit like that, man. Then they had, they'll have actual gods carved into them too, with Latin inscriptions everywhere. They have Latin written everywhere, just like ancient Rome. Fuck America. They, even the Supreme Court downtown looked like a temple. And guess what? The Supreme Court, I'm talking about here in Columbus, Ohio. The Supreme Court building down here on, uh, what street is that on? Front Street? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think it's Front. Yeah. The address is 66. I mean, I got some video footage. I need to put it together and upload it. Because I prove, we show you in that video, the Supreme Court's address is 66. I'm not making that up. And then the doors on it, the Supreme Court, look like doors to a temple. That's crazy. Lord only knows what kind of wickedness goes on in there. Ain't nothing but wickedness. Nothing. Ain't nothing righteous going on there. You can't make this shit up, man. That shit real. It's real. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly. Yet their posterity approve their sayings a lot. Like, that. like sheep 
They are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. See, the upright shall have, see, that goes back to that revelation you read. You know, in the kingdom, we go, the Lord going to rule with a rod of iron. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's like your boys up here talking about free speech. We ain't with that free speech shit, man. Because you, the only speech you're supposed to be talking is this speech right here. What, what does that mean, free speech? That opens a Pandora's box to wickedness. That's all that does. Don't teach hate, man, Ohio Yeah, don't teach hate. Hate? I think it's hateful to be a faggot. That's right. And to worship Satan. Don't you think being a devil worshiper, that's not hatred? When you call yourself a Satanist, and they cool with that, just like Harvard University had that devil worshiping ceremony, but they said they canceled it. Well, all they did was move it down the street. That's all they do. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you gonna try to tell me that he tried to say there's I seen no that faggot that was just up here, that scientist so called. He tried to say there's no proof that the the that the people at the colleges really worship Satan. But here it is, Harvard University actually had a satanic ceremony. It sure did. It was big news too. It was all in the news. Yeah. And that that's like the top school in the country. Yeah. Barack Obama went to Harvard. Then his, that, that uh, nasty wife of his, she went there too. You ain't gonna tell me, man. It's amazing. So you ain't gonna tell me the, what we saying is wrong. You ain't gonna tell me that. Well, he claimed that was. <laughs> oh, man. It's a bad visual. Really? Had a bukkake up on that bitch. Then piss sex after the bukkake and piss sex. That's a bitch. Yeah, bitch, that's the thing. Them bitches like to drink piss. piss they like to piss in their mouth. They ain't all kind of nasty shit out piss here. Piss and cum. A mix of piss, piss and cum. A mix of piss and cum. That bitch probably got butt implants. That's another thing. These bitches get butt, uh, fake titties and... Butt in plants. It's looking good for the day of destruction. It's gonna get raped and then get burned. It's in the scripture. The scripture says seven women should take a hold of one man. I wish I had a big movie. It looked like implants. <laughs> Probably was, dude. Right. They say it's, man. But the most high will redeem my soul from the power of the it, grave. Them white, them white bitches can afford those implants. Yeah, they can afford them. Yeah. They get surgeries in high school. Yeah. They be in high school getting them surgeries done and shit. So the fast surgery shows are going to be in They have TV shows on it. Yeah. Uh, the plastic surgery shows, reality yeah. shows. Yeah. Yeah. They show you how the young girls get the plastic surgery in high school. Yeah, most of them doctors are going to that type of field, making that extra money. Yeah, they, the doctors and doing cosmetic surgery make more than any other doctor. They get paid. They get paid. But you know what? They can, that's all right. They're good. You know, when that time when we start snatching these bitches up. They're they doing that shit for us anyway. <laughs> they are though. They're doing that shit for us, man. Yep. I mean, I'd be damned if I'm gonna have a motherfucking big fat black bitch up and up. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none but none of my bitches gonna be fat, man. Hell no. Ain't none of them gonna be black, man. My baby two or three of them. Now there's a difference between thick and be fat. Some young black women, you know what these older black bitches, man. Bitches got pork all up in their intestines. Right. So how you supposed to lay down with a woman? She got pork all up in her intestines. Pork titties. All up inside her body. She she uh sweating out pork sweat and yep, pork yep, juices. Yep, yep, yep. Hey no, and they want talking about uh they they looking for someone that's romantic. How you supposed to get romantic with a wild beast? With a wild one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah, because it's all the same, you are what you eat. You bitch have been here, it's all the diners consist of nothing but fucking swarm. Fucking titties, man. Fuck around, suck them up, fuck them up. Hell no. Hell no. Fucking pus or fucking juice, grease will come out. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. But when that time comes, man, I ain't snatching no black bitch. None. None. Every you know, couple. People, you know, yeah, it just Every young couple. ones yeah, that yeah. still in there. You know, you, we, know, we know how to judge a woman. Yeah, right? we know. You know. But the old man, most of these black bitches is just, it just keep going, keep going. They're gonna be coming with offerings and shit, food, clothing, guns, you know, whatever the fuck. They think this will come with everything looking for protection. 
Yeah, they're gonna be looking for protection. Can't buy your way into here. Ain't gonna be no protection on that day. Uh -uh. Cause bitch, you try to get, you was getting motherfuckers for child support. You now you, you try to get protected. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, no. There ain't gonna be no protection on that day. That's right. Cause your protection was 911. That's your protection. Now there ain't no 911. What you gonna do then? You gonna get fucked up. A lot of these hoes, they just gonna get punched in the face. We're going, we're going to hit her ass with a crowbar right in their teeth. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. For real. They're getting their reward. That's going to be their reward. Man, faithful to Satan and his system. Here's Ecclesiastes 39, verse 32. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. And then parables, see. We speak in parable. That's why most people can't understand us. You know what I mean? That's good. <laughs> you know? I'm talking to people that can't understand yeah. it too. Because they got a befuddled look on their face. Yeah, you could, yeah, because you could speak in plain speech and they still wouldn't get it. Mm -hmm. So to, to hit them with a parable, they'd be totally lost. Right. For real. People seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he hath tried the good and the evil of most men. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him, and will pray before the Most High, and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and his secrets shall be meditated. Shall he meditate? Let's go right back to that Psalms 39 that you jumped yeah. into. Yeah, everything goes together. Just, yeah, sure, it's right. So I can put in that it's, that, it's, that, it's that river of living water. Mm -hmm. It's a flowing stream. Yep. He shall show forth that which he hath learned, and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. Many shall commend his understanding. And so long as the world endures, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. Nations shall show forth his wisdom, and the congregation shall declare his praise. If he die, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand, and if he live, he shall increase it. Yeah, because when, mo when most of these people drop dead, no nobody remember these fucking fools, man. Okay, usually the people that get remembered is the people that was on, uh, honorable and trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I remember that dude. I can always trust that guy. Don't nobody remember a piece of shit. Now, they might remember how big of a piece of shit you were. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just, like, just like that scripture in the New Testament. It said, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away." Like when most people die, you nobody gonna remember you. Okay. You just gonna be, you just gonna be a piece of nothing, okay? It, nobody's gonna care about you. Ain't nobody gonna sing songs about you, okay? Nobody's gonna talk about you. They ain't gonna have no party for you. But people are still gonna be praising the Lord and be reading these scriptures. Like the scripture, generation. Right, these scriptures done been here for thousands of years. And uh, uh, the fools of died come and went, and ain't nowhere to be found. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. You go everywhere. This book is there. It's everywhere. There's every hotel rooms where all kind of bullshit it, is going it on. It done been translated into every language on the earth. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You That's can't right. stop it. That's right. For real. You got people fighting over being the people of this book. Yep. You know, you got fighting over the land. You know, there's, there's identity thieves right now. You know, identity theft. On a, on, a, on a spiritual level, on a godly level, there's been an identity theft going on. There is. You know? And they got the nerve to accuse us of identity theft. Look at that theft. bitch with that long ass blonde hair. Look at that. Get that bitch on camera. Get that bitch on camera. The bus driver. The bus driver. The bus driver. She looks foolish. Oh shit, you should see this bitch I work with. She ain't black people. No, this bitch I work with, she had this shit, it looked like. Uh, Big ass braids as bleach blonde. Oh my goodness. Right, too? Yeah. That bitch actually looked like a transvestite. Right, 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 right. right might be, dude. Very, I mean, very. you never know. Because now we up in the LGBT time. <laughs> so, shit, this transsexual 
everywhere. They the military. Well, I don't know about the military. And they're trying to get it. You know that what's your boy Chuck Hagel said? They they, they need to accept chan, transgenders and transsexuals in the military. You know your boy Chelsea Manning trying to get uh, uh, <laughs> They just need to put that fag in the death. Yeah, right, right. Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning. I mean, I mean, the faggot already committed treason, might as well just kill him. It's a faggot, too. That's double death. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. Chelsea man. They're trying to get the state to pay for uh, his uh, hormone injection. And, yeah, and they're trying to say that faggot. What's up? She's a pretty hell right there. Bitch was smiling at it. You see that? No, I ain't seen Looking like Trinity. Yeah, she was like Trinity on the Matrix. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's that? What is he talking about? Oh, Chelsea Manning. Oh, you got people trying to say Chelsea Manning is a hero. A hero. Uh, they need to be rewarded uh, with the Nobel Peace Prize. Mm -hmm. They need to be re rewarded with a pile of stones on his motherfucking mm -hmm. head. That's right. That's what he needs to be rewarded with. Chelsea Manning. <laughs> this is crazy, man. What the fuck wrong with these people, man? Chelsea Manning. That's crazy. I don't, I've done forgot his real name. I've been calling him Chelsea. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea man, a fucking great faggot. Yeah. Wow, that's a proud. He's he's hey. he's, a, he's a famous faggot among the, following, man. among the LGBT -ers. Got a large following, man. Well, even the truthers, the Alex Jones motherfuckers, uh, <laughs> like Chelsea. Everybody loves some Chelsea. Mm, mm, mm. Fucking amazing. Man. Who was I? Who was I? Fucking faggot. If he died, but, he shall live. Well, your boy Chelsea in heaven right now. He getting raped in prison. Oh, yeah, he, he loving it. He, that's why he didn't mind doing it with death. Yep. He that's just got he sent to a homosexual paradise. Mm -hmm. He gets right. raped every day for the rest of his life. And get treated for it, too. Yep. Yep. You get a constant, you get unlimited amounts of medication, drugs for that shit. So how did he catch it? Whatever he catches, it's a minimum. Not a real, whatever the fuck, whatever disease that homosexual shit causes, it can't be pretty. Oh, uh, my fault. Go ahead. I interrupted you. That's some foul shit. Yet have I more to say, which I have thought open upon. Yet, yet have I more to say, which I have thought upon. For I am filled as the moon at the full. Hearken unto me, ye holy children, and bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. Right, we come out here and teach them. When you spread that word, like, yeah, we grow, we grown like that bud upon Aaron's uh, staff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go ahead. Well, they give me a sweet savior of frankincense and flower and forest as a lily. Send forth a smell and sing a song of praise. Yeah, we need to get some frankincense. Not none of this bullshit Lysol and shit they sell in the store. And that's just stinks. That light so stinks, man. That shit don't keep nothing. Or that shit them bitches spray themselves with. <laughs> the toxic chemicals. Should have take your skin off. Right. Oh, you got more than that? There's a lot more. Um. Magnify his name. Wow. Yeah, yeah well, magnify his name. What does that mean? Magnify, that's where you get like magnify, a magnifying glass. If you look at something, it gets bigger. It's bigger it gets bigger. That's where you that's where you get the word magnificent. Or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Magnus. Something great. Uh magnitude of a great magnitude. A magnum. I'll shoot your ass with a magnum. That magnum will mm. put you on your Pull ass. Your ass you know what I'm saying? That name is not the name. So we, yeah, we supposed to magnify that name. The name. The name is the name. It, it is just supposed to call the name. We call him, we're gonna do like the Jews would call him Hashem. So yeah, you supposed to call him Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shah? That's right. That's right. That's it. They supposed to be calling the Lord anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you we like can it. call him Joshua or Yahshua or, or it ain't Isa. Mm -hmm. It ain't Isa. Yeah, it ain't Jesus. It ain't Jesus. But that's key. That's why you got a lot of fools on YouTube. Uh, everywhere else in the world. They try to say that you can call the Lord whatever you want. He ain't revealed it to us yet. He ain't revealed it to you. You can hear these same fools that take offense if somebody calls him out in there. And his name's in the Bible. Oh man, that sounds like a bad day. That's a bad day. Oh man.
He mad, too. That, that's said the word came out and the spirit fucked that's, it up. That's right, that's right, yep. Yep, I sure did. He probably had a problem with it. And then, man, man, that shit smells strong as fuck. Some whiskey. What is, is that whiskey? Yeah, that's a whiskey. It's a scotch. It's a whiskey. Yeah. Man, I need me some whiskey. That smells good. I got some too. Yeah, I good. got a little. I got some whack ass seagrams. Shit, we can start and get a big ass bottle. I got a few dollars on me too. And go with some hippie protesters. Oh, yeah. oh man, I love protesters. Man, those are my kind of people. I want to talk to them. Magnify his name and show forth his praise. What's up, homie? With the songs of his lips. Oh, some McDonald's workers. And with heart. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're, um, oh, you know, the U.S. is like uh, running um, nuclear drills all day long, every day till tomorrow. All right. Yeah, like with the B-2 and B-52 bombers and shit. Man, that's not going to be... I didn't even... I was looking at the news, but every day I didn't see that one. Mm -hmm, yep, yeah. they've been doing this from the 12th. They're running from the 12th to the 16th. 16th tomorrow, I think. I don't even know what day it is. 14th, 15th. Well, anyway, yeah. it's to the 16th. Man, fuck that man, yeah, Russia been yeah, launching yeah, right missiles. Right yeah. Everybody testing their missiles right now. Yeah. You see Russia just tested an ICB in, what, a couple weeks ago? Yep. Well, you know, shot about 2,000 some miles. <laughs> and they, just playing. That's a yeah, little just, Unless you know there ain't nothing. Just showing you motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Look at that. They really think they're going to get $15 an hour working at McDonald's. They, they, they think that, they feel like that's worth fighting over when they should be doing this and they, they get everything they need. All y'all work at McDonald's? That's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> If you work at McDonald's, you're a pathetic human being. <laughs> Who the fuck in their right mind will work at McDonald's, bro? I'm not putting no goddamn application to McDonald's. I would rather be homeless. And they fight for the right to work at McDonald's. They make $15 an hour. Bro. And McDonald's, all McDonald's is doing is poisoning your children. They, they, they get the Happy Meal, and all, that meat's not even real meat. The motherfucking chicken nuggets got silicone in it. Silicone. Did you know McDonald's chicken nuggets have silicone in it? I did. Yeah. That's good for you. It makes you strong. Okay. So they fighting for the right to go work for some devils like that. How stupid are you people, man? Y'all need punch in the face, man. You look tired. Have a good one. You got an ass. You got an ass. Probably smells. She ain't wash that ass in there. Yeah, everything stinks in there. You guys looking at her ass? I saw that. I look at... What, what your ass look like, bitch? Yeah, I bet you stink, bitch. Yo pussy stinks, bitch. She said, all right, we're not allowed to look at a woman's ass. I mean, bitches walk around half naked. I can see your pussy. I can see your camel toe. You yeah. know, I'm not going to look. I have never to say how Christian is that. Yeah, how Christian? He's very Christian. <laughs> Not to be a faggot. There won't be no Christians today if we never had sex and reproduced. So, I mean, use your brain. <laughs> I'm glad you see me looking at her ass. I mean, how can we even, it's even hard to concentrate. Back, would we really be shouldn't thinking on a carnal level out here teaching like that? We really shouldn't be doing that. But like, it's hard to think sometimes when you're out here and women are half naked. They're supposed to be covered from head to foot, okay? This is our bodies too. Nicely, and we're not homosexuals. We like women. I, I like the figure of a woman. I like breast. I like the ass. I like it all. You know what I'm saying? It's a wonderful thing the most high created for us, man. And then now to have it defiled. Yeah, they are defiled, and they yeah. and they just put it on display. When you walk around outside, it's like the strip club 24/7. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just half naked women walk around all day. Pretty camel toes. Camel toe is pretty. Yeah, I like the camel toe. <laughs> That's some pretty shit. Man. Yeah, you see it. Every other woman, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they get, why are you looking at a bitch's ass? Right. Right. Why is she showing her ass? Right. It's, that's why a woman is supposed to be covered so you don't look. Let me get that, bro. They don't understand this shit. Oh, it tells you. Yeah, they're stripping on that. Like, yeah, it's like this girl. Look at that girl on the camera. Look. I just did. Oh, uh, you can see her ass. I'm looking at all of her legs. Going all the way up to almost her ass and pussy. I can see it all right now. You gonna tell me I'm not gonna look at that? That's what I'm thinking. But then you got married. See, it's even worse than married women walking around like that. They're supposed to have a husband, 
but they walk around showing all their skin all day. You see on them, them dating sites, man, bitch, I have, I met, the bitch be married, but she's still posting pictures. They're still and posting comments pictures. Comments. Oh, that's on Facebook. You know, yeah, right. right on Facebook, right. they claim that she's married, but yeah, she's half naked in every picture. <sighs> Got her mm -hmm. ass up in the camera. She'll put up a booty shaking video. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Be actually married, man. Claim she's married. Bitch ain't married. No. Maybe yeah, because see, men don't care if you marry. They married. Well, I'm saying she's so adulterous pieces of shit. But that's really not his wife. You, you know, know what right, I mean? Right, right. Yeah. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch is a hoe, man. A hoe, right. And, she, that's just no and she was probably with a uh, hundred men before she got to that dude. Yeah, that's a little Claiming she's married now. Conservative number. Like bitches, I hit bitches all the time. By that time they hit like 36 or something, they be like, I'm getting kind of old, so now it's time to settle down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean to settle down? Right. It's time to settle. You mean, <laughs> bitch, you supposed to settle down with the first dick you ever had. Okay. Yeah. That's a total. Here it is a bitch done fucked a thousand men, and now she's ready to settle down after she committed adultery thousands of times. Develop rotten thighs, like and pussy and walls, and you have no more. I don't even want to buy this. I don't even want to buy this. No one wants to buy this. You don't want to buy this. No one. That's why she's continuously out there in the field, at the club, looking for a new husband. That's why she's constantly working the internet sites, looking for a new husband. You yep. know? Bitches putting in overtime, looking for a new husband. Nasty ass hoes. You man. know, right? Nasty bitches. Oh, nasty bitches. Here you go. This is First Timothy 2 and um. Um, two and nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. A modest apparel means means cover your ass up and your titties up, bitch. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now, now the thing is though, not only do the women show their ass and titties, but now they're getting tattoos on their titties and they're showing that too. Mm -hmm. Tramp stamp. And then they'll have a problem with us when we read the Bible and tell them that that's wrong. And they'll say we're full of hate. Tramp stamp or whatever. Yeah, tramp stamp. They'll have actual paws. Like they had dogs walking on them. And that's pretty much true. They had dog, all kind of dogs and wild beasts <laughs> walking on them, getting up in them. Cause a woman, they'll lay down with anything, man. Especially if you got money and drugs. If you got money and drugs, it's not hard at all to get some pussy. If you a foul, corrupt piece of shit, this is a love. This is waving at us. <laughs> Bitches have been, been nice to us lately, though, ain't they? We cursing their asses out. They waving. It was some pussy. Man, it's strange in a minute. In like manner, also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame faces. Cause you, see, another thing, though, a lot of you women get mad because you know what we're saying is true. All right? And we say it in plain English, too. So you, it's very easy to understand. Plain English. And, we hope and, and it sounds things. nasty. Mm -hmm. And it sounds rough. But it's the truth. Truth hurts. All right, keep going. Truth ahead. hurts. The shame faces and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold, or clothes or costly array. All right, so you see, you watch TV. Esau. What's up, Esau? You see these women, they be on TV like that bitch, Joyce Myers. You know Joyce Myers, a evangelist bitch. Here it is, she claimed to be a First of all, the Bible says you're not even allowed to have a woman preacher at all. But here it is, you got a woman preacher, she wearing gold earrings, gold necklace, got face paint. She got, right, she got all, all the all the uh, expensive stuff. She wearing everything, living in luxury. She live in a giant mansion. But then you go to all these neighborhood churches, every last woman be up in there, a uh, violation of this scripture. They all have their titties showing in church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they, they'll have a, a <laughs> the, the gold. You know how the black woman do it too. She got all kind of gold. She she saved her finest gold just for church. Hey, they go to church and just skirts me up to here. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, they they go to church looking like whores. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I saw my mom the other day, man. She still fly as hell. She wears, I'm surprised my mom ain't been robbed yet, man. I'm serious. Cause my mom wears thousands of dollars worth of diamonds and Gold, man. She wears she be dead, man. With her rings, the bracelets, and my mom be shining, man. I'm still out there rolling around when my dad is laying in the bed and can't walk. Damn. So I'm just going by the crib all the time. My mom is yeah, she, she probably. My she, mom is in her in the 80 years old, man. I bet she probably drove your dad to the sand. She did. I remember I was growing up as a kid, man. You know? I remember. Now I used to. 
you know, without having an understanding, you favoring your mom. But when you get older and mature, especially understanding this world more, you start to think about things, you start to all realize that, oh, damn, it was really my mom, you know? Well, that's because the woman's on the loose in America. Mm -hmm. And one, the woman, that's the, you got women's liberation, women's freedom, women's rights. That's what's fucking shit up. The woman shouldn't even have that option to even behave like that in the first place. So much freedom. You're supposed to have these bitches on a leash. Like your boy Caligula. <laughs> Where your boy Caligula had Caligula a bitch on a leash? Was not he was not playing. He's like, you ain't fucking this hoe. He had, <laughs> he had that bitch on a yeah, leash. Yeah, the hoe he had on yeah. a leash. Yeah, she was an actual trifle. Yeah. He loved, he wanted the trifle. He liked yeah. it. That would turn him on about it. Yeah. That trifle bitch. <laughs> what are they laughing at? You know, they don't even know what we're laughing at. They, they you can say, they like little man. kids though, like. It's like little kids, you know, little kids here, you say one cuss word, they all start laughing. <laughs> <He's the buddy. laughs> he said, fuck. Uh, <laughs> for real, dude can't take the talk, man. Yeah. He can't take it. He can't take it. That's too it. much for him. <laughs> he read the wall. Shit, man. <laughs> Where I come man. from, we said cuss words every other word. You know. I shot, I'm an ex Marine, too. I've really learned how to curse being in the Marines. But well, that's the old saying, you curse like a sailor. <laughs> Everybody in the military curse up a storm, man. Because mm -hmm. you'd, you'd be up in there mad as hell. They probably gonna be cracking down that in the military too. Oh, you no know, more cussing? Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh, that's, they already turned it into the, 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 they already turned the Marine Corps into a bunch of faggots. They, you know, they took boxing out of boot camp. Like when I went to boot camp, we had, they forced you in a ring, you had a box. Just throw nonstop and a little ass ring too, like this big. Because they fort so you can't run. They put you in a ring where you can't run, you have to fight. They took that out of boot camp. And somebody, I guess someone died or something. But people are supposed to die in that shit, man. That, you know what I mean? Every once in a while, you that, that's normal to have someone die in combat training. You know what I'm saying? You're preparing for fucking combat. But they done turned the Marines to a bunch of faggots. When I, the how you gonna take boxing out of the Marines? Man, that's fighting. That's like basic fighting skills. You know what I'm saying? That's basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fucking yeah. faggot, man. Because yeah, my brother was a fighter. He, he, I mean, he was already a whole motherfucker. He went in the army. Man. He was whooping niggas' ass in boxing men. Fighting over in Japan, fighting boxing oh, yeah. over in Japan. He was whooping Oh, the ass. Marines got their own he boxing league. The Marines got their own boxing. The Marines got their own boxing and football league. Yeah. College team, college football team, Navy and Navy and uh, uh, Army and Navy. Army and Navy. They got football. But the Marines have their own division. Right. Like no, they have their own league. I mean, right. where they just pretty much they battle each other. Right. But they got NFL scouts to go there and watch them. Cause they be some badass players in the Marines. Okay, but which becometh women professing godliness? You remember that running back? Uh, my fault. I'm interrupting. Mike yeah. Mike Anderson from the Broncos years ago. Oh, no. Uh, he they. Found him in the Marines. What? Yeah. I'm off. I'll go ahead. Just some little extra knowledge for y'all. Some worthless knowledge. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. So a woman's supposed to learn in silence with all subjection. She ain't supposed to be running a damn mouth. Okay, keep going. But I suffer not a woman to teach. A woman is not supposed to teach, okay? She's supposed to be subjection to the man. Keep going. Oh. authority over the man but to be in silence so a woman's not supposed to have authority over the man but in america they put women in high positions of power they got they got women on the supreme court they that's supposed to be your highest rulers in the land or judges and they got women on the supreme court they got motherfucking women senators you know it used to be against the law for a woman to be senator right at one time but you got bitches like Diane Feinstein. She a senator. And what's that other bitch, Michelle Bachman? Everybody look up to her. Even the men, they praise her. She's such a great leader. No, she's not. She's a dumbass bitch. They got these stupid motherfuckers saying Sarah Palin is such oh, a Oh, yes. Sarah Palin. She ain't nothing but a whore. 
And she look good too, but she's a whore. <laughs> okay? Come on, she be blowing everybody up in the up in them parties. They got parties after the uh after the uh Republic after the Republic convention. You know she be blowing, she blowing Carl Rove. That bitch is sucking everybody, eating pussy. I can tell she like to eat pussy just by looking at her. And her husband look like a big faggot. He probably get fucked in the ass. Why? Do I, you know, they into some weird shit. I'm telling you. The higher ups. Cause you, so can, higher ups. Cause you can tell Sarah Palin, she's a whore, bro. A freak. She dresses like she a whore. Like, right. uh -huh. She goes. She claimed to be Christian. Uh -huh. Well, how can read that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She ain't. Uh, she ain't dressed in modest apparel. Uh -huh. Every time Sarah Palin come out, I see her titties. She wearing gold. She dressed like a black woman. I'll be honest with you. She wearing all the gold. Got her hair done. Wearing all the makeup. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Talking shit, running her mouth. Man, someone needs to punch that bitch in the face, man. <laughs> just straight up, just punch, clothesline it. When that hoe's giving a speech, someone just need to come up and just clothesline that bitch. Mm -hmm. Just take it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you say spear? Hit, uh, they spear uh, that bitch though. No, I said they need to spear that bitch like Goldberg. Right. Remember when Goldberg come through and spear your ass? Hell yeah. That's <laughs> like when I hit Cheeto with. Oh yeah, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the spirit. He was out for a minute. Oh, Hillary Clinton too. Someone need to take that bitch out. Oh, bro. Yeah, oh definitely. She needs her ass beat too. Yeah. She ugly as hell. Hell yeah, still got a body. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> that bitch be eating. She less open. Ain't no yeah. touching her either, man. Well, they said she gonna be the first lesbian and first woman president. Mm -hmm. Even though, even though she's a crook and a liar. And she corrupt as hell. They don't give a fuck. The average person, the average woman, thinks Hillary Clinton's some kind of hero. They don't know that she got people killed up in Benghazi. They don't know what Benghazi, Benghazi is. You heard that shit? Yeah. She got the uh, senator got killed. The U.S. ambassador. The ambassador. Yeah. The ambassador. She got him killed, and it was her fault. Well, she's probably in on it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. They, they, people don't even know what that is. They never Benghazi. What's that? And they still making a big deal on that. Right. Yeah. She probably they she probably could still get elected. Because first of all, well, select. Well, select. That's what I was just about to say. Because they really the, your vote don't count. That shit's all set up. Barack Obama, they chose his ass to be president probably 20, 30 years ago. When they was raising his ass up as a little child, preparing him to be president. He was groomed for that job. They groom these people for that job. Here's some more on these. Um, oh, go ahead. Here's some more on these bitches, man. The way they dress. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto men. So women are not supposed to wear pants. Okay, pants are for men. Uh, we, as soon as you said, I had three women walk by all wearing pants. More to come. More to come. So a woman's not supposed to wear pants. Okay, because you get you no know, air circulation up in there. Okay. When a woman wears pants all day, you get all kind of fungus and shit starts growing up in that coochie mm -hmm. and starts smelling real bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because no way, right? They can't breathe. They can't breathe. That's why they're supposed to have on fucking dresses, with, not even with some fucking bloomers on either, too. Yeah. Just yeah. long dresses. And a long it's dress, too. Like a long dress. Like us, man. We ain't supposed to be wearing no tight ass drawers and boxes and nah. shit, man. Just like when King David, remember King David came back from the, from the, season of the I think it was the Ark of the Cup, and yeah. he was dancing, and he put Saul's wife, uh, daughter away from opening her fucking mouth. That's a prime example right there. Yep. Prime example right there. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. See, she, she half damn naked, walking around like it ain't no problem. Right. right. Cops roll by, don't say nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? My point is when King David was dancing, his wife popped out. Oh, shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, he wasn't wearing no fucking, uh, Hanes. They was wearing stuff made out of linen, probably. You know, uh, linen clothes. Well, yeah. The one thing I hate is some got some jeans, man. Blue jeans. I hate that, I shit. Hate that shit. You, you got no movement. I hate that shit. How, you can't go to battle wearing no blue jeans. You know what I'm saying? You, you get no. Tight, you get no flexibility. Yep. Yep. That's a handicap wearing jeans. It is. A, yeah, you can't. You ever try playing basketball in some jeans? Can't do it. <laughs> You do it, but you ain't gonna be as fly as you were without them. Yep. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that they do so are the abomination See, they, to the Lord. They did not read that scripture. You got women <laughs> actually wearing dresses. Oh, what was that shit? You seen that Eurovision singing contest shit? They had, it was in the oh, new. Oh, the bearded month. They had a bearded transsexual won the singing contest. What motherfucker, a dude 
with a beard, dressed up like a goddamn woman, everybody's cheering him. That and whole, he won. And that, he won. And he won. That whole damn audience should have been put to death. Like a mass extermination should have went down. They should have had... Uh, the, the cops should have came up in there with machine guns and machine gun the whole crowd. There's no law. There's no law. It, yeah, it's everything. And Russia was totally against it. Totally. And they said that the, the, the crowd was booing the Russians because the Russians are against homosexuals. Okay? That's, they supposed to be against it. <laughs> okay? That's not something... <laughs> being against faggots ain't radical. Okay, that's normal thinking. Okay, there ain't nothing radical or hate filled about not liking faggots. But Crumb, well, ain't Crumb claim to be Christian? Yeah, he claimed to be Orthodox Christian. So he he's reading the prophecies. He, he's he's trying to. Well, he knows to... he knows Russia's the bear. Mm -hmm. He yep. knows that. Yep. He he knows he's in the prophecy. Hey, he's not stupid. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. I think he knows that the Most High is uh, with him. That's why he's so bold. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because he knows the Most High is going to take down America. With, with what? And the Most High is giving him that bold spirit to not give a fuck. He looked bold. He's he he coming out bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took Crimea. He didn't give a fuck. He just took that shit. Soon they're going to take the rest of Ukraine. They're going to take Ukraine. They're going to take what they want to take. Mm -hmm. They're going to take Poland. Them neo-Nazis are going to get slaughtered by him. Man. Oh, yeah, the Nazis. They're That's good, get, though. They're going to get slaughtered by him. But that's if, a rising thing here in America. The neo-Nazis. Neo well, out. that's good, too, though, because they hate Jews. Yeah, well, so, yeah, yeah, and a yeah. lot of them neo-Nazis be yeah. Israelites, bro. Uh, of course. No, I know that. You know what I mean? I know that's right. Because you find out. I know that's right. A lot, of them, a lot of them white power people, they so stupid. I'll tell you how stupid they are. They so goddamn. You know your boy Dom? You know who Dom Black is? Mm -hmm. Dom, you know who David Duke is, right? Right. Dom Black is David Duke's one of his right-hand men. He... Don Black runs the website Stormfront. You know Stormfront is like, you get on there and it says white pride, white, white pride worldwide. And they post news articles and shit. And they, they pretty much just talk shit about Jews all day is what they do. Yeah, yeah. But the head dude from Stormfront, 